Hi, this is a prophetic word for Letitia. Um, thank you, Lord, for Letitia. Thank you, Lord, for her heart, her desire to serve you, um, her, uh, her willingness to learn from you. And I thank you for her. And I ask you to encourage her in this prophecy in Jesus' name. Amen. My daughter, Letitia, I see and I know everything that is going on in and around your life. I also see what is going on in and around you. I understand that you sometimes have confusion. I understand that you sometimes have anxiety and you look at the world and the people going to and fro and you wonder if you can keep up. You wonder, you know, if you're doing the right thing, if, if you're doing enough, if um, you're maybe going in the wrong direction or the wrong route. Maybe you feel like you just... Are unsure about yourself but I want to put your heart and your mind at rest this day my daughter I just want you to know that I am with you and I'm saying you are enough you are enough and keep on the path you are going on keep on the path you are going on because it is the path that I have ordained for you it is the path that has been set aside for you and there'll be many good things on this path there'll be many surprises um, the enemy may try and bring dark things across your path, but it's like I'll always be like that road sweeper that just sweeps them to the side as I make the way clear for you, as I make the way true and sure for you. Because I want your feet to be sure-footed. I don't want you to be double-minded and question yourself or question me about the direction that I'm, I'm sending you in. I want you to know in your heart, with a heart of faith, that the course you are on is the course I have set for you. The things you are doing are the things that I have given you to do. And I'm not going to go away from you. I'm always going to give you direction. I'm always going to tell you the next step. I'm always going to bring confirmation through my word and through others and through circumstances and things around you, nature around you. I'm always going to give you confirmation when it's time to change direction, when it's time to take one of the paths and the fork of the path before you. And so, my daughter, I want you to know you are precious, you are chosen, you are mine. And I know you. I know you're not going to walk away from me. I know uh, you have a heart that is good. You have a heart that is true. You have a heart that desires to follow after me and fulfill completely your potential and to be the woman that I have called you to be and everything that I have called you to be. And I want you to trust me as much in the night seasons as you do in the seasons of light. And just as sometimes your path will be clear and sometimes it will be a little hidden. Know that I will always turn up at the right time with the light to shine the way. For I know how to reach you in your darkest places. I know how to draw you out of your places of confusion. I know how to draw you out of your hiding place. So even though you may feel sometimes you are hiding in a corner and that you can't be used, I know how to draw you out. I know whether to yank you out or whether to draw you out gently because I'm the God that knows all things. I know what your heart needs. I know all your heart can take. I know when you can't take any more. And I, um, I place a burden on you that is easy and a yoke that is light. I do not give too much for you to handle. I do not um, give you more than you can bear because you are a light. You are a light to the nations. You are a light to me. You are a light to the people around you. You are a light uh, to those I have put across your path for you to influence in this hour and in this season. I know what troubles you at times. I know what burdens you. I know the things that hurt your heart. I know that some things have hurt your heart deeply recently and I know and I understand why. And I want to pull those things out of you, those thorns that have gone into you, I want to pull those things out of you and I want to heal your heart so you can feel confident and so you can go feel strong going ahead. Sometimes the wounds in us make us doubt ourselves and doubt our God and I want you to know that as I heal the wound, any double-mindedness, any self-doubt and any doubt towards me will be cleared up 
because that is my plan to heal you in all areas, uh, to keep you safe, to keep you grounded. I want to keep you grounded in my word. I want you to feel strong and fixed and stable in my word. Um, I want everything you do to come out of the out of the foundation of my word. I just want you to know that you are trusted, that I trust you, my daughter. I trust you for what I have given you to do, for the people that you are responsible for. I trust you. I trust you with their hearts. I trust you uh, to bless and not to curse. I trust you um, to um, bring joy and not place shame upon people. Uh, for you have known shame. You have known sorrow. You have known darkness. You have had secrets. And um, I want you to know that um, I understand all and I am not a God of condemnation. I understand where you're coming from and why you do the things you do, why you feel the way you do, uh, why the different things happen around you. And I know how to get you out of every situation where the enemy tries to corner you, where he tries to capture you, where he tries to put you in a corner. I know how to use that for my advantage because the devil's really working for me. I just bring all good out of everything that he brings across your path because that is my desire for you, is to bring all good into your life. I do not bring suffering. I do not bring the harder things of this earth. I am the one who uses those things to make you stronger, to make you grow taller, to make you feel confident in yourself, to make you go from victory to victory, to go from triumph to triumph. For you will triumph in me. You will triumph in me, my daughter. Even though you sometimes feel like you have failed, I want you to know that you have not failed. Um, I see how hard you try. I see the effort you put in. I, I see um, the effort you put into people. Um, I see the effort you put uh, in, even into your own life, into persevering through trials. And so... You are a daughter of honor. You are a daughter of honor because I have called you a daughter of honor. You are a daughter who will receive many crowns. Yes, many crowns. For that is what I have established in you and for you. I have established in you to know that you will be a light. You will be a light to many. You'll be a light that shines brightly even as darkness covers the earth, as thick darkness covers the people peoples know that I will surround you with my light and I will surround the ones around you who you love with my light know that you are no accident know that you are planned to be part of my purposes know that you weren't a by thought or an afterthought you are one who is specifically chosen to be on this earth at this particular point in time. You were called to be here. You were called to accomplish a specific destiny. You were called and you were set apart and you chose me just as I knew you would. I knew because I knew you in the garden. I knew you in the garden in heaven, in the secret garden. We used to walk and we used to talk and we used to have great fellowship and great communion together we used to dance together and we used to um just talk together before you were sent to this earth and we had such a great time and I planted so many things in you I planted so many ideals in you I I told you your purpose and I told you what you would be doing on this earth and I told you that sometimes you'd lose your way but I would always point you back into the right direction and, and I told you that I loved you forever and that my love for you was true and I told you that you would complete your destiny. I told you um, that you would be dwelling as one with me on the earth and you'd be walking on this earth representing my light and my love, being an ambassador for me because that is what you were created to be. You were created to be a little Christ. You were created to be one who shakes the nations. You're created to be one who makes a difference. You are created to be one who challenges the status quo, one who challenges other people's ideas, who preaches 
uh, my word and speaks truth and speaks things which give people understanding. For you, my daughter, have understanding that others don't have. You have perspectives that others don't have. You have a way of looking at things which is unique. And yes, all people have a slightly different way of looking at things. But I want your way of looking at things to be heard. I want it to be shared. I want it out there. I want the things that are on your heart, the things that you're so passionate about, the things you hold dear to your heart, the things that you love, the things even that are like pressuring you like, oh, if only people could understand what I understand. And those are the things I want you to share, even share in a book, share in whatever way you feel led to share, whatever way I put on your heart to share. Um, there's just so much inside you which is of such value and it's of such worth and you my daughter are of such value and you're of such worth and you are precious in my sight you are precious and you are chosen and you are loved and born for such a time as this you are born to make a difference you were you were born to make a mark on this earth and you were born uh, to be an ambassador of heaven you were born uh, to be one who is known in heaven and even if you're not known on the earth you'll be known in heaven because you'll be one that leaves a mark on this world you'll be one that leaves a mark in eternity uh, because you were created to leave a mark in eternity you were created to change, to bring change, to bring solutions, to bring ideas, um, to bring uh, new openings and um, to just help get people out of confusion and blindness off their eyes. You are one who is called to open the eyes of the blind, not just meaning the, the physical sight, but meaning the spiritual sight and just the general sight, seeing the truth of things, seeing the truth of my word, seeing the truth of my heart. Because my daughter, so many people don't know my heart. They don't know uh, that I'm a God who loves, not a God that condemns and judges and hates. That is not the God I am. I'm a, a God that has a fatherly heart. I'm a God that has a loving and a forgiving heart. And that's the message, one of the messages I want you to convey. That's a message that I want you to share is the Father's heart. Because as you know my heart for you, you will know my heart for others. And as you know my heart for others, you will know my heart for the world and my desires for the world. And I want to show you my desires for the world, my desires for your family, my desires for your friends, my desires for your city and your country and the, and the world. I want to reveal to you the secret things that I want you to know and see the desires of my heart for all that is on your heart, all that you care for, because I know you are one who cares deeply. You're one you're not one who just passes over people or passes by things that 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 touch my heart. Those things that touch my heart touch your heart because you're connected to my heart. You're connected um, to that deep place that connects my heart to your heart. Uh, you, you're connected deep in the foundations of the earth to my heart. You're, you're connected deep in the foundations of heaven to my heart. Yes, you're connected and you're grounded to the earth, but you're also um, connected to the heavens. And so as you're a citizen of heaven, and as you walk in heavenly places, and as you walk to and fro, on the earth know that you are also walking in heaven know that you're also walking with me and know that i want to commune with you every day i want to commune with you more and more and i want you to find satisfaction and peace in my life together with you my relationship together with you i want you to have a real sense of peace about that I want to get rid of that all that anxiety that says you're not good enough, that you're not doing the right thing, that you're a failure. All those things I just want to just put to the side. I just want to get rid of them. I just want to excise them from you with the sword of the spirit. I just want to 
take them away from you. I just want you to know that you are truly loved, that I admire you as my daughter. I admire you. Yes, a father admires their child, and I am a God who admires you. I'm proud of you. I see your achievements. I see what's in your heart, and what is in your heart is your biggest achievement, and what is in your heart is going to be your greatest message for though you keep your things to yourself that you think the things that are, you're most passionate about, many times it's hidden inside your heart. I just want to open your heart wide and I want people to see what's in your heart. I want people to see what's in your spirit, um, what's in your emotions, what's in your mind, because it truly is of me, my daughter. What you meditate on and what you ponder on, my daughter, is of me because... Uh, I am putting ideas in your heart and I'm putting ideals in your heart. As I transfer my ideas and my ideals, heart to heart and spirit to spirit, so you are absorbing my heart, so you are absorbing my passions, so you are absorbing my life and my truth. And you will come to know as you will find that there will be many who receive you. And as in all messengers from God, there will be people who reject you, but there will be many who celebrate you, many who receive your message, many who receive what you have to say, whether you write it in book form or however you communicate it. There will be many who, who will receive your message with joy because they'll recognize it as a, a message which is coming from the heart of the Father, for you have the heart of the Father. You know the heart of love because it's within you, because you're so connected to me, my daughter. You're so connected, and you don't even realize just how connected you are. And even though you sometimes struggle to hear my voice, know that I can still uh, communicate and um and relate to you spirit to spirit and heart to heart for I don't only communicate in words I also communicate by spirit and by heart I also communicate by emotions there's many ways in which I can reach you my daughter not just the traditional ways but I'm going to move in many unusual and different ways in this hour I'm going to do things in many different ways and I'm going to bring opportunities to you that you never thought you'd get I'm going to open doors for you that you'd never thought you'd walk through there's just so much I have for you so look forward with exuberance with delight and with expectation because I'm not going to leave you in the dark I'm not going to leave you alone I'm not going to leave you without help I'm not going to leave you broken and wounded and sore in your heart I'm going to bring healing to the areas that need healing I'm going to bring light and life to the areas that need light and life. I'm going to bring hope to you because I am the God that brings hope to the hopeless. I am a God that is a welcoming God. I am a God that is a God who is true. I am a God who is not a liar. I am not a man that I should lie. I am a God that can be trusted. I am a God that can help you in all things. I am a God that knows the, my right hand from my left hand and though many people in your generation do not know their right hand from their left hand they cannot discern good from evil they cannot discern darkness from light so you will be one who teaches the multitude so you'll be one who teaches people my truth my holiness about my glory about my presence about the way that I work in people's lives, the way that I transform people's lives, just as I have transformed your life, my sweet daughter. Yes, I have transformed your life, and I'm going to transform your life even more. Even as the butterfly come, the cocoon, the caterpillar comes out of the cocoon and comes into a butterfly. Just know that I'm changing you from glory to glory. I'm lifting you from one level to the next, to the next, to the next. And know there'll be constant promotions as I take you from one place to the next. As I take you from one level to the next, you'll know when you have shifted. You'll know when I'm bringing changes in your heart, in your mind, and in your life. But know this, my daughter, you're on the right path. You're doing what I have called you to do. Do not feel ashamed of yourself and who you are. Do not be ashamed of who I have called you to be. For I have called you to be a light. 
I have called you to be a light. I have called you to be a light. Uh, and you will shine for me in the darkest places where others would not go, want to go. I will send you and I will uh, send my angels to surround you and protect you. For you are one I long to protect. You are one whose heart I long to guard. For you are so precious to me. You're so anointed. You're so appointed. You're so loved. You're so precious. And I'm going to use you mightily in the days to come. So do not be afraid when the enemy comes your way and tries to put shadows across your path, obstacles across your path, darkness across your path. For I am the one who comes with my torch, lights the way and pushes the obstacles out of the way. And I send my angels to do the same. Know that I will keep you on the straight path. Know I will keep you on an honest path. Know I will keep you on a true path. And when the enemy tries to come and invade, I will lift up a standard against him like a flood and I will flood you with my love, flood you with my goodness, flood you with my anointing and show you indeed that you are my chosen, you are my beloved one, you are the one who I have anointed and appointed to go out and do good works. I love you, my daughter. So there's your prophecy, Letitia. I hope it blesses you. God bless. Bye.